And I don't know if many of you guys know, but I've been like extra busy. So I finally got time to come do an episode and why not have Ty Jack on here? Uh -huh. it's late. Absolutely. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I guess we could just start with like how you've been, how's COVID um, treating you? Hopefully you haven't caught it. You know, hopefully you've been safe and everything. Yeah. How's the pandemic treating you? Um, it's been cool, man. By the grace of God, I haven't caught COVID. I'm so thankful for that. Um, but other than that, man, COVID has allowed me to really lock in on the music for real, for real. Right. Um, there was a point in time where I was like doing it full time during COVID, so I had nothing but time on my hands to really, you know, lock yeah. in. But it's definitely annoying because I miss performing. You feel me? I miss, you know, I miss doing certain things. But you know, as That's an artist, you give it some time to create, though. You know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think for me too, um, I feel like the pandemic's kind of been like a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. Not as far as like the COVID part and, you know, people actually get sick, but just having more time to do things that I got to get done. So, you know, that's been like a blessing for me. You well, know, hopefully it's been good to you too, like you said, but I guess we just want to get started. So Ty Jack, Ty Jackson, like, you know, earlier I said, you know, do you have like an ultra ulterior uh, ego going on? Like what's going on with that? What made you choose to just go with Ty Jack instead of having the full name Ty Jackson? Tell me about that. Um, well, pretty much, like, anybody that really knows me knows it's, like, I really play out that alter ego thing, like, yeah. to the fullest, you know what I mean? But, um, and all my homies call me Ty Jack, you know mm -hmm. I mean? so that's kind of, like, what everybody knows me by. Every time somebody see me, it's, yo, Ty Jack, what up? Ty Jack, what up? Yeah. I kind of just run with that, but I definitely have, like, my own, I have, like, three different personalities in my head, for real, for real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, I try to, um, I try to use that as my niche, kind of, you know? Mm -hmm. And we gotta get into that too because um I, I do want to talk to you about a couple different things from your sound to how you switch up your style, all types of things like that. So before we even get into that, you're from Jersey, representing mm -hmm. Jersey. What part? Yes, ma'am. Some say Franklin, baby. Okay. Franklin, <laughs> There's a couple of friends in here too. I see them. That's what's up. So talk to me about being an artist from Jersey. What does that mean to you? I know um you know sometimes Jersey artists get a bad rep. For different mm -hmm. things as far as like support and whatnot so mm -hmm. as you an, an artist from jersey from franklin that's you know a pop of town i know like the club music is crazy over there but mm -hmm. um you know mm -hmm. how do you feel being an uh, artist from jersey what does that mean to you um being an artist from jersey is dope like i love being an artist from jersey um i wish we would come together more right but you know i mean i feel like it's a lot of competing going on that's really not necessary you feel me like I look at like Atlanta and, and like down south, they come together for real. I just wish we could do more of that out here, you know? Right. But I love the atmosphere. Like, it's nothing like Jersey. You know, it's nothing like Jersey. So. Absolutely. And no matter where I go, like, I always rep Jersey to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to. Got to. We got to. Of course. So, we know that you rap. You also mm -hmm. sing. And I think I was listening to one of your songs. You said you actually was rapping first. Mm -hmm. before you started mm -hmm. singing. For you, what is your favorite style to do? Do you like to sing more than you like to rap? Or... Do you like them equally? Um, uh, I guess I like to sing more, you feel me? Because um, okay. singing is more of an, en an engagement type of thing. You feel me? I can really engage with my audience when I sing. You know what right. I mean? I can do it when I rap too, but it's, it's a different type of feeling when I'm singing, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, definitely probably singing though, singing for sure. So being that you mentioned singing, um, you know, I'll be on your Instagram and Sometimes you'll be singing a gospel song. You'll just have me in my feelings. You know, mm -hmm. other times you sing in R&B or you're rapping. Um, mm -hmm. For you, how do you explain your sound to be? Like, what do you consider to be your sound? Or how would you describe your sound? Is it more, you know, gospel? Is it more, like, how do you describe it in your own words? Um, definitely a churchy, soulful sound. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I started singing in the church. That's where right. it started. You know, so, and I never, I never lose sight of that. You know what I mean? It always comes back to that raspy soul Ty Jack, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely call it like a churchy type of, you know, type of sound. How do you mix the two? Because um, I know, I, I do have a question for you a little later based on what I'm about to ask you now, but how do you kind of, um, you know, separate the two? Because I know sometimes when we see gospel artists, we think, you know, that's all they're supposed to sing. You mm -hmm. know, they can't sing mainstream music and stuff like that, but you mix the two. How do you mm -hmm. kind of, you know, intertwine the sounds together to make it you know, um, I guess likable for people or for people to mm. kind of gravitate to. How do you do that? Um, well, for one, um, <laughs> I'm always positive. I'm never, I'm never on no negative type of time. I'm very positive. And um, 
if you do it the right way, like I'm always like even on my rapping tracks, I'm layering mm -hmm. myself singing. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of it's kind of like a um, I don't know. And, and you know, God knows my heart. You feel me? Because I definitely hear a lot of that. You feel me? Like, and um, yeah, I look at I really don't look at genres. I look at just music. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um, if you're genuine with it, you know, it's, it's an expression. You know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So before we even uh, move forward into the two tracks you sent me, I do want to talk to you about your latest project that you have mm -hmm. out called 36 mm -hmm. with the ellipses, the three dots, I guess 36 continues. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so talk to me about that a little bit. Just talk to me about like the production side of it. Um, what was the concept behind it? When you okay. placed the tracks, were you trying to tell a story? Tell me everything about 36 continues. Okay, Um. well, 36 is my street number to the address where I grew up. Okay. And, uh, pretty much um, everything on the project is just pretty much all the morals, everything I've learned, all the love I show, me being in church, I learned it from there. You feel me? Yeah. So I pretty much talk about it throughout the project somewhat, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, um, as far as the production, um, I did make one beat on the project myself. Okay. Um, that's, um, yeah, yeah, more your love. Um, and yeah, it was just um, it's just a, a great body of work that has something on there for everybody. Yeah, you know and I, mean? I agree. That's what I was really shooting for. I want to make something for the lovers, for the homies. You feel know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. so, you know what I mean? In your opinion, what's your three favorite songs from there? My three favorite songs. Yeah, and why? Um, <laughs> Hard choice. Well, Arm and Them, Real Nigga Moment is definitely like top tier on my list right now. Um, yeah. Mow Your Love. And um, let's see, probably replay mm -hmm. and replay because, like, you know, like I said, on, on those tracks, I'm really showcasing both both of my talents, kind of. So, and I'm talking about something, it's not like I'm just you know, blabbering out nothing, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about something, you know, right? No, and yeah. I really do like replay, like, um, the guys, you guys don't know what happens behind the scenes, but when we're choosing, like, you know, what we're going to put out there for show and tell, he actually had changed his mind and picked this mm -hmm. song, and I really, really like this one. You know, I was sitting there listening to it, and I was like, wow, like, I can relate to a lot of the things that he's, that he's saying. So wow. before we even get into that, I do want to know, you know, what motivated you to kind of start working on a project? Because I know sometimes, you know, as uh, artists, you might drop cover songs, you might drop videos mm -hmm. here and there singing, but sometimes you may just not be in the mood to, you know, create a project. So for mm -hmm. you, what was like that spark or that motivation that kind of was like, let me get in the studio, I need to put a project together? Um, well, you know, um, just... Um... The fans asking for it, yeah. you know, um, people anticipating new music, and um, that kind of keeps me going. Like from that, every every now and then, I'll hear somebody, you know, just tell me your music did something for me, and that'll all right. Let's get back in the studio. Not that I'm not motivated anyway, you mm -hmm. know, but I definitely got the drive to do this project because of the energy. You feel me? And, and people just staying on top of me for real, you know? Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into his first joint called Replay, which he was just talking about a little bit. I'm going to let you actually introduce it because I feel like the artists can do it better than I could. So go ahead okay. and introduce Replay for everybody. Well, this is Replay, um, a nice smooth vibe by Top Jack, uh, featuring Top Jacks, and that's how I look at it, <laughs> uh, you know. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all like it. Tune in. I mean. Yeah. And y'all drop those emojis, drop those comments. I want to know what you think. Also, send this out to your friends. I know it's Good Friday, people out right now. And don't worry, like, Ty, don't even worry. Like, once I repost this, it's going to do what it's supposed to oh. do. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm but guys, y'all keep sending this out. Let's get ready to replay right now. Let's get it. Let me know if you can hear it, then I can turn it up. I'm moving 360. Most niggas can't get with me. I'm cool swift. Baby, grab while well, I smoke a slip. Yeah, I got big dreams. She call me a young Disney. I've been running circles in every job where I'm getting dizzy. If I had a before, I said, nigga, don't you forget. I ain't famous for where I'm from. A nigga really the bad. Say five months, shit is about to go legit. So, bitch, if you ain't in the album, come at me when I'm lit now. Nigga, I'm on my shit now. Ain't got no time to shit down. That's what it is now. Stand up, nigga. Stand up, dude. Stand up, moves. I got you in a stand up mood. Besides, I'm elevating every day. You're filling up my bank. My head lifted to the sky. The God giving thanks. I'm motivated in the best ways. 
If y'all feeling that, drop some emojis. I see somebody drop the gold emoji. And then. emojis i feel like on this one you really get to hear you know you sing a little bit you really get to understand what you're talking about um you know mm -hmm. it's not any heavy bass that's overshadowing you know what you're saying or anything mm -hmm. um i really really like that one i think that's one that you can really just play and really you know digest what he's saying because he's saying something on that one um why did you pick this song to actually showcase tonight um because like i said like in the beginning of the track i always try to like I said, I'm, I want to try to be part of some motivation with somebody, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And um, I just feel like, you know, that kind of gives people a history of me too, low key. Like, this is what I've been doing and how, I, how I'm feeling about what's going on and different stuff like that, you know? Right. Absolutely. What's the concept, I guess? Um, not even the concept, but you're talking about a lot of things in this song that it makes me wonder... You know, did he go through this? Is it based on true events? Can you speak to, not specifically, but could you speak to, like, a time in your life that this song really resonates with? Like, what kind of, um, I guess, what? how true is this song to you? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Very true. Um, You know, I think about my dad a lot when I listen to this song. My dad passed away in um 2016. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know what I mean? I know I like words, but I definitely think about... I think about that aspect. I think about people telling me, you know, I need to just sing and not rap. You yeah. know what I mean? Or rap and not sing. You know what I mean, but um, yeah. At the end of the day, that song it, it still just you know, I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> really I good. mean, it, like I said, even if uh, you know, plenty of people out there can resonate with that. And I'm pretty sure it relates to a lot of different people. I do want to talk to you about having vulnerability in your music. Um, is it ever challenging for you, like, when you're writing? Because you write your own music, right? Yes. Okay, so do you ever have trouble thinking about what should I reveal to the world? What should I keep to myself? Like, what kind of challenges do you have when it comes to writing music that has a lot of vulnerability in it? Um, it's not necessarily a challenge when I'm writing it. It's more yeah. so a challenge when I'm recording it. Okay. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I'll try to figure out, like, sometimes I'll write a part that's meant to be rapped. And then once I get in the studio, I'll be like, you know, it might sound good if I'm singing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I definitely, I definitely uh, don't get too caught up, right? It's more so when I'm recording. That's the hard part. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, as an artist who does rap and sing, do you ever feel like there's more pressure to do one over the other? Because me, I love, I love a great male R&B singer because we don't have too many of them that can really, really sing. But, you know, you know, nowadays people just want to listen to rap and turn up or whatever. So... For you, do you feel like it's ever more pressure to do one over the other? Um, no. Nah. 
Okay. Because I'm just, um, I'm like so confident in both talents. Yeah. I think I, I have something that um, people will get just as excited. You know what I mean? The, <laughs> the, neither one is like better than the other. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I don't feel any pressure. Trust, a lot of people just press me to sing though. Like it's, yeah. it happens every day. You know what I mean? But if I got it, I'm going to use it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you one of those singers that will sing at like the drop of the dime? Like if somebody say, Ty, I want you to sing for me, you'll just do it? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would. I, I, get, I get that a lot too. I get okay. Lot. Of course. Yeah, I would. I'm asking because I sing too. But, you know, my mm -hmm. parents or, you know, my family, I knew you had to. But, you know, whenever somebody would ask me to sing, I'll be like kind of shy. Like I have to be like in the mood to do it. You know, okay. that's why I ask, because okay. I know for most singers, they always get asked, that, like, can you sing? But then for me, I'm a little more shy. Like, you know, like, I might not do it at the drop of a dime. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, no, so I'm... that's good that you have the confidence to do yeah, that. Yeah, I definitely get it. I definitely get it. <laughs> yeah. But I do want to talk to you about um, just kind of keeping your integrity. Um, you know, yeah. as an artist who does gospel music, you do hip-hop and R&B. Um, mm -hmm. How do you kind of stay true to doing the type of music you want to do versus, like, oh, I'm just going to make mainstream sound and music because this is what people want to hear like how do you kind of stay true to yourself um well for one the people i'm surrounded by um they keep me grounded and they make sure i don't i don't want to say sell out that's such a cliche <laughs> right you know just make sure i'm staying true to myself i'm i'm living what i'm writing you know what i mean um yeah. and that's really like my number one thing like that's why I, I really stand on that like living exactly what i'm writing you know what i mean yeah. so, absolutely um that's what really keeps me going i mean and i have a story to tell too you know what i mean so do you yeah. ever get writer's block oh yeah sometimes how so, do you deal with that like how do you kind of get through that like what kind of what kind of motivation i guess do you need to get you out of that i used to stress myself out about it like i used to get so stressed like i used to get so yeah. mad at myself but now i just you know all right cool i ain't got it I sleep on it and I'll come back like two days later because you know if something will come to me. You know what I mean? So but it it, it, it can be annoying sometimes for sure. For sure. Do you have some then artists like stuff just oh, come nice. you know what I mean? Like, oh. Okay. Do you have some artists from Jersey that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Or any artists in general? Um let's see. Um I'm a big Sioux surf fan. Everybody in Jersey loves them some Sue Surf. Yeah. Surf, bro. Sue Surf, if you see this live, I'll at me. <laughs> I really rock with Sue Surf. Um, uh -huh. One that I wanted to work with, and I actually did do it, me and Sade did something. Sade Yes, yeah, that's my sister right here. Mm -hmm. Love yeah, we did something, so that was kind of on my bucket list. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Um, yeah, and I'm really, really open to anybody that's really dope, you know what I mean? And, and yeah. yourself, you know what I mean? Absolutely. What do you feel you bring to, I guess, the game? Or what is it that Ty Jack can bring to, you know, R&B or hip-hop or gospel? What is it that you have that you bring to the table that makes you different? Um, well, that right there, I feel like my versatility is, yeah. like, a problem. Like, I feel like I can be that same dude that can get called by DJ Mustard to come lay some, do some vocals, and Kirk yeah. Franklin can call me to come do something at the same time. Like, right. I feel like that's what, and it kind of, it kind of, you know, get, gets rid of that, uh, that stereotype that you have to just stay in one lane. You know what I mean? Like, right. like it's okay to really step outside of that lane. You know what I mean? So I think that's going to be the niche, the niche, the versatility. You know what I mean? I love that. And I don't think I know any other artists that like sings, well, maybe like one or two, but that sings like gospel really well. They do R&B really well and they can rap really well. I don't think I know too many artists that could do that. So I do have to like give you, you know, your praise for that. But we're going to go ahead and get into your second joint, which is R&M or Real Nigga Moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce right that now. one. Go ahead and introduce it for them. Um, yeah, this is, this is um, Real Nigga Moment, man, featuring my big bro, Burn Bright. He another... OG from the town, incredible artist, and um, it's a vibe. It kind of gives me like Nipsey vibes a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, I'm really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get into that. And y'all, y'all keep sending this live out. I see more people joining. Keep dropping those comments, those emojis. Y'all can see I'm pinning the best ones. So y'all keep it going. Let's get right into real nigga moment. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a young nigga on the 
Once the game missed you, so this ain't no competition. So this only repetition. So I'm taking my position. I'm a black nigga, get me, get me. On the road to the bridge, consistent like back in 06. So they know that I'm full of gay. So imagine they don't walk in. Probably turn for my friends. I'm a little bit of gay. All out of it all, I'm lit to the edge. So nigga I'ma keep on living. I said nigga like two times, same pin, but I always got new blocks. Said a nigga on new times, it's the edge new times. Yeah, I said I'm singing in a rap, nigga. It's a black time. Made new friends that'll come old times. So they gon' bust it like the old blocks. I said I'm coming down with that nigga. Ain't got time, man. Shit for you to drive over another nigga. Life is real. It ain't no stopping once I'm gone. If you think they leave me alone, get the fuck from my mouth. It's real nigga moment. 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 N
please everybody. And I mean, some people are gonna like your music, some people aren't. You know what I mean? And that's cool. You know what I mean? So, uh, that was something I definitely got over. Yeah. Trying to trying to um, uh, do the most for followers. You know what I mean? But I'm yeah. more of a I'm more of a word of a mouth person anyway. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I kind of stopped worrying about the some. Of it, I mean, some of the stuff is important, but I kind of just I'm letting stuff flow naturally now. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and yeah. when I started doing that, a lot of stuff started happening for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I love that. It's all about being organic. You know, you can't force things to happen. Mm -hmm. um, they happen the way they're supposed to happen. So. And I definitely can see that, you know, you're very confident in what you do. And I can tell that you're very confident when it comes, and you're very comfortable when it comes to you singing in a certain genre versus another. Like, it doesn't seem like you're trying to force anything. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really, really, you know, I like your music a lot. Um, I guess, uh, how can you identify a real nigga moment for yourself and those around you? Because I, I kind of was, you know, people always say, like, you know, I'm a real nigga, whatever. Like, what does that mean? Like, how do you identify? Right, um, right. Well, um... I define real nigga as a person being their self, you know what I mean? Um, not letting anything or anyone define them, not trying to fit into a certain crowd just because it's popping. That's what, and that doesn't, I don't think real niggas are, you know, people out here wilding in the streets. No, 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 no. I think real niggas are people doing something for their community. Um, you know, just trying to cheat the young bull or something. That's what I consider a real nigga. I mean, for sure. Because Love the word that. gets tossed around very, very lightly. Uh -huh. it, it, it does get tossed around, but you know. Um, real nigga gonna have a real definition to what a real nigga is. You know, for sure. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the, what's the studio session like with Ty Jack? Like, if I was to come to the studio with you, what do you have in the studio? What kind of environment is it? Do you have a lot of people around? Do you need to be by yourself? Like, what is that like for you? What do you need? I'm an intimate recorder. Like I, um, I don't really have too many people uh, in the studio with me unless it's like one of my like super solid bros or my bro Gotti. He's actually on this live too. But uh, just people that also have an ear for the music. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, but yeah, I record in the dark. I don't. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very weird when it comes to like recording. I don't have too much. Is it like? Depending on the song, is it a different, you know, setting for you? Because I know you said in the dark. Is that all the time, or is it like depending on the song? No, nah, the dark. I record in the dark all the time. Like it kind of yeah. just gets me in the zone, and I kind of just it kind of makes me feel like you know I'm the only person there. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I'm not, you know, there's my engineer. There might be a couple more people, but um, yeah, yeah. When I record in the dark, it kind of like mm -hmm. puts me in the zone for sure. I love that. I know when I used to record in the studio, I would kind of be the same way, but I would need like mm -hmm. a stool. I gotta be by myself. Like, it used to be really crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're not doing that anymore. But yeah. uh, <laughs> talk to me about your short term and long term goals for your career. Like, what are you what are you looking forward to that's going to be coming up right now? And then what are your future, you know, long term goals? Um, as far as right now, mm -hmm. um, after I drop this project, or the short term goal, I actually want to do a gospel project. Nice. <laughs> right after this one. You know what I mean? So um, that's definitely like on my, my list for sure because that's another thing I get asked to do. You know what I mean? Do a gospel project. And uh, as far as a long-term goal, I eventually want to like open my own studio space, like a multi-purpose space, yeah. space and like start a label. Mm -hmm. And eventually... That's dope. I don't want to say stop being an artist but just recognizing more talent. You know what I mean? From where I'm from. You know, for sure. I think your camera might be moving a little slow. <laughs> Can you hear me? Mm. Okay, cool. Um, so do you have any plans or do you want to be a signed artist? I know some artists would rather stay independent. Like, do you have any plans of trying to get signed or is that like a goal of yours? Um, Honestly, <laughs> if I'm going to sign to anybody, if I would sign to anybody... <laughs> It's gonna be Cole, J. Cole. Other than okay, that, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, other than, other than that, I'm gonna really just build an empire on my own. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure, and give people around me jobs, and you know, just um, start start my own little record label type of thing for sure. I love that. I love to see people, you know, build things up from the ground, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just kind of 
create you know what they're doing and then people kind of come along and want to help because what you're already creating like that's what i like to see mm -hmm. are you do you have any other talents that we just wouldn't you know expect from you besides singing do you do anything um, else that's like out of the ordinary well i'm a musician right I do the piano for me but um, let me see i was a beast in basketball like i still you know don't... everybody says that are you sure listen man anybody on this live want to come see me you know what's up? Nah, bro, I, I really used to have a dream. I, I used to think I was going to be, like, a basketball player for real. I played in high school. Okay. So, um, that, I guess that's my hidden talent. <laughs> okay. You know I'll I mean? take that. I'll take that. So, you guys know that every time on Show & Tell, I always play a game with, with each artist. Um, It's a different game for everybody. I was trying to get Ty to sing tonight, but I don't think he's going to sing for us, so it's okay. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have another game that I would like to play with you. Mm -hmm. So it's a questions game. So being that, you know, this is me and your first time like interacting on live and whatnot. And for a lot of you guys, this is your first time probably, you know, you might this might be your first interview seeing of uh, Ty. So I have some questions. I have a one through, let's see, 40 list. I'm going to have you pick about maybe, I don't know, maybe we can answer about five of them if you're okay, okay. with that. You're going to okay. pick a number, one through 40, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you whatever question it is. You think you up for that? Let's do it. And I'll give you one pass, okay? If it's a question you just absolutely don't answer, I'll let you pass on it. <laughs> nah, it's, it's I, I promise it's nothing crazy, okay? Okay. I got you. Let's do All it. right. So you can go ahead and pick your first number. Um, 40. 40? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Who are you really deep down? Who are you really? Who am I deep down really? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a lover boy, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a lover boy, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a, a peaceful cancer. That's who I am. Okay. Oh, my sister's a cancer. My, my sister. oh. <laughs> somebody said what? That you're lying. That's what somebody said. Right. Somebody said lying. They lying. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and pick your second number. Um, five. Okay, five. Let's see. Who is one person you would talk to about anything? Um, honestly, mm, I can let me say my sister. Okay. Yeah, I got an older sister, and we pretty much talk about <laughs> everything, so. Okay, I like that. I talk to my sister about everything, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Pick your next number. Um, seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you ever had your heart broken? Or have you ever broken someone else's heart? Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yes to which question? You breaking hearts or somebody broke yours? No, nah, um... Mm. <laughs> you can pass. No, nah, um, yeah, both, both ways, both ways. I've been broken hearted mm -hmm. and I've broken hearts. Okay, I'm sure it wasn't intentional, right? No. Nah. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> Go ahead, pick your next question. Right. Um, let me see. Um, 22. 22. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. It says, are you living or just existing? And how do you know? Mm, I'm living. Mm. Um, because like, I'm really living out my dream um, on my terms. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I honestly feel like I'm living. I like that. Mm. All right, let's do let's do two more. Go ahead, pick one more. Um, I like these random questions. I like these two. Two. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we know the answer to this. Are you religious? Yes. Yes, and we know that, right? Yes. All right, so go ahead and pick your last one. Um, thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, what was the time that you did not speak, but you should have? Hmm. That's a good one. Mm. Um, I sang background for Fred Hammond one time, mm, and nice. he was standing right next to me, and we were just chilling, mm -hmm. and I didn't say a single word. Like I kind of was just like quiet. I really yeah. felt like I should have spoken up. <laughs> and like told, like you know, just you know, because he was like super cool down to earth. Yeah. But I was just so starstruck. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, but sometimes that kind of, like, works in your favor because if you guys ever meet again, like, you know, like, you might feel more up to speaking to him. And, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. they respect when you're not, like, 
you know, all starstruck and things like that. Exactly. So you never know. Exactly. Right. right. It might have worked out in your favor. So right. that was just a quick get to know Ty Jack uh, question game real quick. Thank you for being a good sport about that. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get out of here, I just want to know, what are some of uh, the best gems that anyone has ever dropped on you, you know, throughout your journey as a singer, an artist, a rapper? Um, what are some gems that you could kind of repeat to those who are watching? Something that someone told you. Um, well, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle, man. It's it's a marathon, not a race, man. I live by that. You know what I mean? Um, and um, I really live by that. I'm really, like, I really feel like there's no, there's no rush. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said earlier, stuff is when you let stuff um happen organically. You know what I mean? And and you're not forcing it, and you're not getting stressed out because you're where somebody else is. You know what I mean? It it, it kind of puts things things in perspective and makes right. it easier. I, mean, I love that. I love no. that. And I feel like I live by that too. Uh, everything yeah. is a work in progress. You just got to focus on your journey. Nobody else's, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I'll leave you with um, just what are some of your goals for the project? I know you said you have a video coming out for Real Nigga Moment, um, the album's dropping. Um, you know, what other goals do you have for it? Are you going to do some live shows? Are you going to do some, I mean, not live shows, but like virtual shows? Like, you know, what do you have planned? Um, well, next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next mm -hmm. Sunday I'm doing like, um, exclusive listening party you feel okay. me and i'm gonna be talking about uh every single one of the tracks on there i mean where the inspiration came from all that good stuff um is that gonna be live or is it gonna be virtual um i'm gonna have the space i'm doing it at is gonna be able to hold like 10 people because i know it's okay. COVID, and so i'm gonna have like 10 people and then i'm gonna stream live on YouTube and all that good stuff i mean so um but yeah i just hope the people listen to the project listen to what i'm saying mm -hmm. I mean, recognize the versatility and uh, yeah, just take it in, you know? Absolutely, I love that. Any other music videos that you have planned for the project besides Real Nigga Moment? Well, yeah, I'm trying to break the internet with like <laughs> one of my um, my R&B songs. I'm really trying to go all out. <laughs> so okay. That's probably going to be my next, my next video. Sounds good. I think we're all looking forward to that. Um, so just tell everybody where they can find you, where they can find your music. And then, you know, we're going to go from there. Go ahead and promote yourself. This is your time to plug. Word, word. <laughs> um, well, as you can see, Instagram at the Real Ty Jack. On all platforms, you can find my music under Ty Jack. Um, YouTube, Ty Jack. Yeah. And, um, yeah, um, artists, if you need beats, you need, you need hooks, you need verses. You do it all. I do it. I do it all. Honestly, I really do. I mean, I'm really humble and I'm really chill, and I'm always ready to work. So, absolutely. Cool. Well, I have to say, I enjoyed this interview so much. I thank you so much for coming on Show and Tell. Um, you know, I always see your videos. I always see you know what you're doing, and I'm impressed. I love it. Um, I hope you yeah. know you enjoyed being on the show. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I appreciate you for this platform for real. Absolutely. Like super major for real. Thank you. So, guys, y'all go follow him. Go stream. Well, can't, they can't stream it yet, right? Um, tomorrow, oh. 5 o'clock. Tomorrow. So, tomorrow, you guys, look out for everything that he's dropping. Go follow him right after this. Tap in with him. Like he said, he does it all. If you need it, he got it. He's like, hustle, man. He got everything you need. <laughs> everything, <right? laughs> Absolutely. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Show and Tell. You guys will be able to find this on YouTube after, you know, we, we're done and whatnot. You guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, Ty. I'll run it. I will go one. All right, bye, y'all. All right.